two, one. We have left on. Vehicles pitching downrange. Director Chamber Pressure Nominal. Thirty seconds into the flight, the Brumble's just starting to reach us here at launch control. Booster and ship, that avionics power, telemetry nominal. Thirty three Raptor engines. Max Q. Now pass through the maximum aerodynamic pressure, the most stress the vehicle's gonna see on the way uphill. All right, our next, our next major milestone coming up, it's gonna be hot staging. We're gonna see the engines ignite on ship to push it away from the booster. So hot staging is going to be the next thing coming up. First, we're going to see the booster's engines start to shut down. All but three. We're going to do what's called most engines cut off instead of main engine cut off, because three are going to keep going. And then we're going to see the engines on ship ignite. Right now, the tower team is doing their go, no go. And still see it up behind me. That is one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my entire life. Who's Coming up on hot staging next. Ship engine There's start up. Most engines cut off. Stage separation. Booster. Stage Booster. separation. Start hot stage confer separation confirmed. Oh man, that was <laughs> absolutely incredible. I loved how the crowd. Ship chamber pressure is nominal crowd here in Hawthorne all went ooh at that first <laughs> view of the blue flames from the booster. As you can see there, first stage currently performing, or excuse me, is uh, now making its way back to uh, the launch site. Again, we are- Ship avionics power and launch nominal. Uh, the booster and the tower are both performing automated checks to make sure we are go for the booster to return to the launch pad for that catch. And once those are complete, the flight director. Booster, booster, back for shutdown. Flight director is going to booster return. Beautiful view here from the <laughs> ship. <laughs> and so exciting to hear that we got a go for booster catch. That means it's going to be a really exciting morning. Again, the booster is making its way back towards uh, now land. And in order to. And guys, we should just be at about. 30 seconds away from the landing burn. It's going to happen in three phases. We're going to land 13 engines, burn off all of that velocity. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. Booster coming in hot for booster catch. We're going to ignite 13 of those Raptor engines, and this view is incredible right now. You can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand. Landing burn. 13 engines. Landing burn. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now.
kidding me? <laughs> uh, Dan, wow. uh, I don't know about you, but we're, we're losing our stuff <laughs> over here. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> even in this day and age, what we just saw, that looked like magic. That oh, was... wow. Dan, wow. you, you must have been insane. <laughs> we are still going wild over here over this. Folks, this is a day for the engineering history books. This is a live view of the Super Heavy Booster as it has just been successfully caught back at the very same launch tower that it just came from. Dan, I love this. You are reflecting exactly what everybody else here in Hawthorne, uh, except maybe a little bit more because you got to see it with your own eyes. How was that? We got it. Off. I mean, like, oh, uh, like. Uh, I can't even. I can't even describe that. Oh, by the way, shit. Main engine cut off. Ships in orbit, but I am. I am like shaking right now. That was. Yeah, it, oh, this is not, <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's, let's it's, check in on ship. it's hard to believe that. Starship nominal orbit insertion. All right, exciting news there. It's hard to believe that, you know, booster isn't the only excitement that we have today. Just confirmation there, a gorgeous view of planet Earth behind uh, ship, the ship. Yes, saved. And it is now in, in the orbit that we expected it to. This is just an incredible day. Live views there as the booster vents some pressures there. That is a live view from the top of the tower <laughs> looking at the chopsticks. <laughs> I am still in disbelief. I'm trying to catch my tears just like the chopsticks caught the booster. <laughs> it has been nonstop <laughs> since lift out. <laughs> and we are all so excited about everything that's been happening so far this morning. With the booster having completed its job for today, we are going to take a short break for the next 30 minutes. We'll return back at T plus 40 minutes while the ship continues to coast before re-entry. It has been an exciting day so far. <laughs> Even the crowd here is still so excited. We lifted off from Starbase at 7.25 a.m. Central Time. That blank, the blanket of plasma ends up distorting communication frequency. So it's not uncommon to experience brief blackouts in communication, but hopefully that's not the case today. First, to protect against this plasma and this really, really extreme heat that the vehicle is going to see for the, about the next uh, 10, 10 more minutes or so. Yeah, so uh, the ship will attempt to light the three center Raptor engines, uh, and those are the engines that can gimbal or maneuver or point, and they do that to help flip the ship um, until the engines point down so that it can land using the Raptor's thrust in the ocean. So that will happen after we get through this re-entry period. Um, again, now starting to see, and we also might start to see the flaps actuate a little bit here um, as the vehicle controls its role uh, during re-entry. That was one of the main learning points from flight three was the roll control. Uh, didn't work quite as well as we wanted it to. We <laughs> learned that we needed some redundancies. So we added more roll control thrusters and we'll see those in action as well today um, as that was a flight three learning that worked better on flight four and still enabling that same design today. Great call out, as Kate mentioned, the flaps are controlling the attitude of the vehicle. And I love these views because it looks so calm. Uh, everything is relative, right? For so relative to this camera on the ship, it looks so calm and smooth, but the vehicle is traveling extremely fast. You can see the speed on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Starship is designed to land on Mars where there are no runways or other humans to help out. So we also want rapid reusability. So we're doing propulsive landing instead of a more traditional means like parachutes. Um, and so we will use the engines on this vehicle to help slow the vehicle down for a vertical landing. Yeah. Now, entry is going to basically happen in five phases. The first is low drag that lasts for about three minutes. Next is high heating, and that begin that beginning when heating increases um, uh, above the uh, heat rate breakup limit. Um, that 
lasts for about 10 minutes. We then have high dynamic pressure. Um, Starship will continue to slow down and experience increased aerodynamic loads during that phase. Uh, and that will happen before reaching Mach 1, about a minute after. Starship is approaching the peak heating phase of entry, remains on a nominal trajectory. Okay, so that was phase two that he just called out um, that I was mentioning. After peak heating is that dynamic pressure around Mach 1, and that will uh, last about a minute after leaving the hypersonic area, and then we go into subsonic, and then, of course, landing burn. Wow, what an incredible view. All right, so that is great news there. Um, like Dan said earlier, this is basically Max Q Part 2. So this is the greatest amount of, uh, of aerodynamic loads that the vehicle will experience during its flight. It's coming back through the Earth's atmosphere. You know, it was uh, above the Earth's atmosphere in space where there was no friction. We can obviously see uh, heat re as a, you know, evidence of that friction buildup. Uh, the atmosphere is actually helping to slow the vehicle down. If you're watching the telemetry in the bottom right-hand side, right-hand corner of your screen, you can see that speed decelerating rapidly. Now, the four flaps on the ship help steer the vehicle. What a cool view of the reflection of that landing burn. Amazing. <laughs> and 